you want to question? Just no. I did. No. Okay. <laughs> no. No, I've had a theatrical <laughs> career. You couldn't tell. Oh. <laughs> There's a surprise. I recently played Lady Bracknell. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, no, I just wanted to say the way we did it, you might not know, it's called Rhythmo Band. And yes, I did learn it in Montreal, but I'm not French. I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, basically, there's... Just your sexy last name. We, there's long hand writing, okay, that goes across under the screen, and as it hits a line, you say the word or the part of the word. That's Rhythmo Band. And the first time you do it, you say, I love you very much. Wow, I did it. I hit the line, and then you're told by your director, yeah, but it sounded crazy. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> so what you've got to do is you've got to make, you've got to hit that line, but you've got to make it make sense. And another thing I want to say about dubbing is people always make fun of dubbing. But it's an imperfect art. It has to be, because other languages make different shapes with their mouths. And it'll never be exactly, especially when it's people and not cartoon characters, it'll never be absolutely accurate. <laughs> But when it's done well, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's all I want you to know. Just that's the way we did it. And when she's it was saying we're brilliant. <laughs> so are you, so are you. So. <laughs> but when we're squished, or when I was squished, which I was a lot, um, I'd see E R O E U uh. And then what, what uh, Tracy would say would be don't try to follow that. Just really key in to what's happening to your character. Yeah, yeah. And then you, and then you, you do it. Oh, you. Next question. Oh, I just wanted to say one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say that that the oh, I can't remember it now. Oh, I know. Um, with, the, with the with the rhythm band, um, who saw Mrs. Doubtfire? Okay, you know Robin Williams when he's doing that cartoon at the beginning. That's rhythm band. That is not used anymore at all, and it was only used very specifically then. And so most cartoon actors who came were like, "Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> like, we're doing what?" And I have to go like, "Just chill, just breathe. You can do this, you know." And so, but it's exactly what you see in Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams. That's how we did Sailor Moon. Goodbye. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Greg. Uh, I was kind of wondering not remember if you did Sailor Moon, it was you or someone else, but where it was, did it really get drawn from singing, so were you ever involved with those? Uh, Jennifer, she... Uh, yeah. It wasn't me. Yeah. Sorry, no. okay, maybe the other one. Yeah. Yeah. No, we weren't involved with singing. That was someone else no. completely. Yeah, uh, yeah I, it might, I don't think it was Canadian. Mm. Yes, over there. Uh, I was wondering what your opinion on Sailor Moon Crystal is. Uh, you know what, it, it, it's... We were the originals. I said the originals. <laughs> yes. And every time uh, um, you know someone comes you know to, to the table, I always ask what you think of it. And more times than not, people like the original, which is awesome. Um, you know, uh, uh, I was in LA doing a con when we found out that it had been you know recast and it went to Dallas and it went in a different direction. It's it's got a very different uh, feel uh, to it. I mean, that's not for me to say. It's for you, the fans, to say you know what you prefer. Um, but it's, um, the thing is, in our show, we had to do all those PSAs. Uh, oh, that's so, so funny. So maybe Crystal might have been that's a, that's true a to it. It's a public service announcement to fill this, uh, the, the space. Canadian content. Yeah. yeah, so the newer series might have been a little truer to the manga, maybe, but there's something to be said about the original. I haven't really seen too much of the new series. Um, we kind of live in the original series, but that's for you fans. Well, season four, coming can I, shortly. Can uh, can I, just gonna say, to I was just going to say, I call it, we like classic Coke. <laughs> no, I'm sure they're wonderful too, but I haven't had the, the heart to watch it yet, but I promise you I, I, I will. But it means it's a whole new lot of fans, and that's exciting. The PSAs were very funny. Okay. Because we had to cut out some of the naughty bits, like the new bits and whatever, for the Amer North American audience, then there was a bit of time at the end. Yeah. And so we had to have a PSA, but I loved it when we would have really erotic fights with these strange monsters and whatever. <laughs> and then at the end it would say, Sailor Moon says, brush your, brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say one thing about Crystal, is that I think Canadians are funny. And I think that Sailor Moon and actually, Canada and Japan have a really interesting... I did Anna and Anna Green Gables and went to Japan with that. 
And that was my first encounter with the two cultures. They're very similar kinds of things of oddness. Like we have an oddness about us, which makes us very funny. Maybe it's the long winters alone doing that. <laughs> but, but, so Sailor Moon really did have that kind of quirky sense of humor. Every character had their little nuttiness. You're like, look at this. You know, so it's like we had we we all had our own little thing. And I think Americans have a very iconic way of storytelling. They kind of have they do it so well, but they're very clear cut. They want their characters to be very defined. They don't want them to move out of those lines. And so I think Crystal has a representation for the American audience that I think the Canadian Sailor Moon did not have. But I think something's lost in the characters because they want to have those kind of more clear lines drawn. And they're not like, yeah, you know, they don't have that. They don't, it's just not natural to them. So I think that's something, that's something to consider. And, and, and just the final line to that is, you know, it's keeping Sailor Moon going. I mean, it's a new yeah, generation yeah. and new fans, but it's keeping the discussion going. New t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gone back to the original uh, Japanese uncut episodes and thought, I would have loved to have done that episode that was left of the theme dub? Honestly, I haven't seen many of the original I have, I have, and I would love to. I like the manga, I think the manga is brilliant. I would love to see something really true to the manga. Like, and I think you're going to see it. I think that the next time they hit Sailor Moon, they're going to put more of that trueness in it. I really think so. Oh, well, the Sailor Moon Crystal is going back to the manga. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, I know. And developing the characters a lot more than they did with the five seasons that they had beforehand. Right. Mm -hmm. They're doing each story arc. Like the third, third season was uh, with the, uh, what, uh, one of them was the, uh, one of the plans had regret, at the end of the series, he regressed to a baby and he said, we're going to be taking care of her because she must not speak or anything because if she does, the whole entire galaxy would go ugly. Yeah. Wow. Yes, Interesting. Are, are such a, to that effect. So do you like Crystal better? I like both of them. They're, they're different That's in good. different ways, but they're, they're Crystal.